Welcome back to Awaken the Wonder. On this week, we have a five-part series with my wife, Harmony, and we're going to be asking her the five biggest questions that we get for her. So, Harmony, welcome to Awaken the Wonder. Thank you. I'm excited that you've made it back. Um, you made your debut on our 100th episode a while back. So for those that haven't seen that yet, make sure you go back, listen to episode 100, and you're going to hear more of an extended interview with Harmony. But we're doing bite size today. So I've got five questions for you, and we're going to do one each day. So come back tomorrow on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and you're going to hear the rest of the questions. But for today, I've got the number one question I actually get from people, and it's actually usually for moms. And they want to know how, with my travel schedule, how you as a woman, as a mom, handle raising the kids and getting your quiet time in with the Lord. So, Harmony, how do you manage your quiet time with my travel schedule and with the kids? Yeah, that's a really great question. And quite honestly, I think I'm still figuring it out. There are certain days where... You're like, all right, how am I going to fit this in here? Um, but I will just say it's so important. Um, I can definitely tell a difference between the days when I spend time with the Lord compared to the days when I haven't yet. Um, when I spend time with I the can Lord. I can, too. <laughs> <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> Take note, everyone. Spend time with the Lord. Um, that should be found out. Um, but no, in all seriousness, uh, it really does make a big difference. Um, I can even just tell when I've spent time with the Lord and just, you know, studied myself and put my, my feet in Him on those days, my day just goes much smoother. I feel more equipped to handle uh, toddlers and, and young children, babies. Um, I'm less irritable, and, and that's really just the Lord that helps I with that. I feel more equipped to handle diapers when I spend time with the Lord. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's where I'm at. <laughs> but more on like the practical sense, how do you manage it? Because obviously, um, I mean, just knowing you because I live with you, you know, you're up late and a lot of times because you're at this time of this recording, you're still nursing and you have all of the stuff with the day to day and you're still trying to do women's Bible studies and groups with the church, which has been great for community for you. But Mm -hmm. as far as just at the personal level, I mean, you attend church, you do Bible studies with other women, you handle, uh, you know, you do all kinds of things. You watch online services, but how do you at the personal level get your one-on-one time in with the Lord? Yeah. Um, I think there's definitely value in getting up early and starting off your day with that. And, and I certainly do try to do that. But quite honestly, there are some days where that is just very hard, especially when you have a small child who wakes up in the night. Or um, you may even have those nights where all four of your children wake up at some point in the night. And by the time your alarm goes off, you feel like you've been hit by a train and you're just not ready to start your day. Um, and so, you know, just finding a balance. And I think you just really can't beat yourself over if you can't, you know, do it in the morning. I I definitely see the value and strive to do that. But on those days when I haven't gotten much sleep, um, I try to do it throughout the day. I take advantage of nap times. Um, Having small children, I try to have my ones that do nap, take naps at the same time. So that way it's a little bit easier. And then my older children can play so I can go in, have some quiet time um, in my bedroom or my closet, wherever I'm going, I can go do that and just kind of lock away. Also, I just try to do it throughout the day to when I'm cooking or folding laundry, I'm using that time to talk to the Lord and just, because that's really what prayer is. It's talking to the Lord and, and that can be done throughout the day. And so, um, you know, just really making that part of my routine throughout the day has really helped. Um, and even just when I'm with the kids or doing activities, I'll have worship music on the background and, and just in worshiping Him with my kids. You know, we can be doing an art project or something and I'm still worshiping the Lord in the process of doing that. And so I think just doing it out the day also just allows more time to spend with the Lord because um, just the way my schedule is with four small children, I just don't have three hours to spend away with the Lord in quiet time, but by doing it throughout the day, it just really helps me to still be in constant community with the Lord, but still able to take care of my children. So for the listeners today, the moms, the other people that are, you know, listening that are in seasons like this, Mm -hmm. what would you tell them to encourage them today? Yeah, you know, just don't beat yourself up. You know, if you 
don't do at the same time every day because honestly when you have small children I, I feel like you never quite know what's gonna happen you know one day you could have a have a big mess and just you know your, your routine gets out of whack but just taking advantage of your day-to-day -day task just use those opportunities and and when they're napping use that time to lock away and spend time with the Lord and and or whatever it may be whether you're getting up early or just it really it just kind of depends on what your season is looking like just try yeah. to manage that and I will say one other thing too I think it's really important for our kids to see what we're doing and to see us praying and to see us worshiping and so um, I try to make a practice every day of even just spending time um, with my children with the Lord sometimes we'll be reading a Bible story together or praying together or or we'll we'll turn on worship music and we'll worship together. And so even though it may not be my alone time, it's still more time that I can spend with the Lord, but also showing my kids who are always watching, whether we realize or not, they're always watching. I think it's really important for the next generation, for our children to see that. And so also to incorporate that in, in that as well. Yeah, no, that's really good. And even that, it sounds like this is regardless of if I'm traveling or if I'm not traveling, if I'm on the road or if I'm not on the road, mm -hmm. you're still going to do the same thing and you're still going to make a way and you're still going to demonstrate it for the kids. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, we have our jokes in the house where with with our kids when I'm here, like they're going to pray for the sick and we're going to pray for people and we're going to shout glory and hallelujah and mm -hmm. we're going to pray, we're going to do communion together and all those things. But when I'm not here, you're doing the same thing as if I was here mm -hmm. uh, because you just love Jesus and want to represent it to the kids. So love it. Awesome. awesome. Well, question one, you did it. You passed the first one. Whew. You ready for tomorrow's question? We're going to get to that tomorrow. So Absolutely. It's going to be fun. All right. Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a rating for us. We'll join us tomorrow for question number two for Harmony. Thank you for listening to Awaken the Wonder. If you enjoyed today's show and want more ministry like this, please visit kingdomencounters.us where you can find weekly blogs in my latest book, Hunger. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at the tag Evangelist Caleb Wampler. If the Lord leads you to partner with us in the nations in prayer and giving, visit kingdomencounters.us. I'll see you next time.